are the most famous family in the state these days. The Peregrine Falcons perched way up there on top of the Brady Sullivan Tower on Elm Street. As they hatch their eggs on webcam, the whole state is on Falcon Watch. To the delight of Falcon Cam fans, Peregrines returned to the nesting spot in Manchester again this year. The cameras, provided by the tech company Single Digits, broadcast in high feather definition on the New Hampshire Audubon Society's website. And the state is hooked. Even folks that don't know that this is a, a threatened species um, are fascinated by the fact that this, you know, these little chicks are hatching out of the eggs. Um, we have teachers actually who have contacted us who are using this falcon cam in their classroom as a central part of their curriculum. While they're likely different peregrine parents over the years, they've been hatching their eggs at this replica of a cliff dwelling since 2003. Impressive because for a time, peregrine falcons disappeared entirely from the state. Now at least 18 pairs nest in New Hampshire. While not often seen together, mother and father share the duties. She's there most of the time and he'd be out hunting and one of the reasons why cities are popular for peregrines is there's lots of food there. They feed on pigeons and, and other kinds of songbirds. Hundreds of people are peering in on the peregrines at any given time online and if you think watching the falcon family grow is fun, keep watching. And the tiny little fuzz balls will get bigger and maybe not quite as cute. They get a little bit gangly. The peregrine parents will teach them to hunt. The Audubon Society will fit them with identifying leg bands and soon they'll fly the coop. Eventually in about six weeks they'll get ready to try those wings and see if they can fly and take off. The chicks leave the nest by the end of summer then Falcon Watch will begin again next spring. In Manchester, Jean Mackin, WMUR News 9.